Hey everybody, it's Alan with Bobcat. So I wanted to pick up this uh, surfacing example and kind of go into some more detail with some additional options and scenarios. So uh, I'm going to regenerate the sweeps real quick. So we'll do sweep, attachment point, shift, shift. All right, so we got one there. We're going to redo it again. Attachment point, shift shift and we have the other one there okay so what we want to do from here like in the last video is we want to add these together so we'll do solid add this and this then what we're gonna do is utilities stitching unstitch solid the surfaces okay now we're gonna grab the stuff that we don't want and then we're gonna delete them now when we look at this intersection here in the past uh, or the last video, I added a 750 radius between here to here. And uh, what you're going to see is we have a, uh, a one inch radius here, we have a one and a half inch radius here, and now we're blending into a 750 radius here. Okay? So it's one and a half to 750 to one. If you don't want that, you'll see that that uh, definitely changes the curvature of the shape, and that may not actually be what we're after. So when we're dealing with blending a surface uh, in this area, where we want to have it blend from the one and a half to the one inch, uh, we need to generate a skin there. And so that's what we want to cover in this video. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer. We're going to do utilities, ex extract edges single. We're going to grab this one. We're going to grab this one. We're going to grab that one. And we're going to grab that one. Okay. So at this point, now we have this wireframe. Okay. So from here, what I'm going to do is arc fill it and you have this trim option, I'm going to uncheck that trim option and I'm, I'm going to do 750 for here, here and here to here, okay? So now what I want to do is uh, I want to put points at the end, I want to do a point at the end of this one and this one and then I'm going to do point incremental and we're going to just push this out one inch in uh, X. Okay, so now we have three points. The reason why we're generating three points is we want to create a new coordinate system based off of these three points. So we do one, two, three, and now we're drawing on this plane. Uh, from this plane, we're going to do arc snap. This is going to be a uh, one inch radius. We're going to do one here, we're going to do one here, and then we're going to do one at the intersection of those two. Okay, now the reason why we're doing this is we want to get this curvature here. We're going to repeat the same process on the other side and then we're going to generate a skin between them. So I'm going to trim up some of the geometry here. I'll trim this one. I'll trim uh, this one here. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is just select the radiuses that I don't need and that gives me that curvature there. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to a top view and in this example we need to uh, do point end we're gonna do one here and we're gonna do one here now the other thing I want to have is a, a perpendicular point so I'm gonna do line sketch like this and then I'm gonna do point perpendicular uh, from here to there okay so now I have my three points here I'm gonna do add new UCS three points one two three okay so now we're drawing on this plane uh, from here I'm gonna do arc snap this is 1.5 so we're gonna go here here and here and then now we can trim what we want to get rid of quick trim so we're gonna get rid of this and this uh, from here we can select the rest of these uh, segments that we don't need and now we have the geometry we need to move forward so I'll go back to a top view and I, what I've generated is the four curves that I need for this shape I'm gonna get rid of the extra geometry just to kinda clean up the screen so we can see what's going on okay so now we have these these four 
curves, and then this will blend the one inch to the one and a half inch. I think I had them inverted the last time. So what we'll do is create a skin. So we'll add a new layer. We'll do, I'll make it a different color. So we're gonna do surface skin. I'm gonna go from here to here, and then from here to there, space bar, and that will give us our skin surface. Now we can bring back our other surfaces. So now you can see the difference. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, surface fillet again so we can see the difference, how the one uh, fillet is blending to the 750. So it goes by one inch to 750 to inch and a half and then in this example with our skin surface it just goes from the the one inch to the one and a half now in order to uh, trim these up we're going to use the add function again so we'll do solids add we're going to add this and this then we're going to add this and this now that they're added we're going to go ahead and do utility stitching unstitch solid to surface that will break us back down and then we can come in here and we can delete the sections that we don't need which happen to be these sections here and now we have a blended radius that follows this curvature to that curvature so if there's any questions or comments uh, please reply back to the thread or the Facebook or YouTube and we'll see you in the next video